the different low bridge to cross the border. All of this infrastructure has been seen, developed in the last 20 years. So if you're taking this three indicator, higher education play a role, only the in voting context, right? If you don't ask for the question. If you're taking this, and some people might say that, okay, they might be talking down, you just foster this one and implement this reform so that people are actually tracking down. But I mean, we live in the tripping down theory, or whether there's something else. So if you ask people John that one, we might see that promoting okay, economic growth and what is our development so far in terms of physical infrastructure is not coming from a holistic strategy of development approach. But actually, if a return to normal economic activity, then peace and security was really installed after the 1990. You're starting from the very lowest. So you have that one. Inflow of foreign aid. Untap in debt about 2 billion, and then every annually now you get about 1 billion uh, inflow of aid from the million. So this is where our economy is wide open and doing you know, all stuff. There's a economic reform that national economic stabilities and uh, economic liberalization is part of the donor. So it might be not a holistic approach. Why are we claiming that? Because look at other indicator. Look at the our economic foundation. It's still narrow, right? We based on a very few subsector like garments, construction, and small surfing and tourism. But we don't have diversified our economic foundation. Even if you look at the people of the poor, all those in Job job recording for the last two decades, but people living below two south, uh, two US dollars and three US dollars is still even hard. And they are very vulnerable to the shock if they happen to be sick or otherwise they can do the poor. So, in, in that sense, if you look at all of this one, we are also still and we are still vulnerable in terms of economic development. C this, USCD. But look at what they can. So in order to solve this problem, let's say that we must go deeper in terms of reform. So look at what we are doing currently. The mainstream analysis is in terms of promoting economic development within the private sector. Okay, there's a mismatch that is why poor people are not getting the proper skill to actually go and sell. So we need to, to make education more closely in terms of responding to the level management need. So the mainstream analysis claim that the student leader understand the skill demand by the employer, now possesses access to reliable information, understanding and career opportunity. So what we need to do is intervention following this kind of action is start more job and employment fair. That's why we do it every day. If you look at all of this every year annually, there's job fairs and all this stuff, right? The main seminar. More forum to see a successful story in terms of entrepreneurial success story. You can see all this intervention at the moment. A closer partnership between government and industry will now be called for partnership. A better trace of study. A better higher information and management system. Invest more on teamwork and STEM education. This is what our intercurrent intervention is. Mainstream analysis. In sum, the position attempt to address all these supply side and expected that demand side will respond accordingly. Do you listen to the demand side? Look at the demand side from the current perspective. Low enrollment in T-Date compared to economic state is not a matter of policies or wage differences. Now those who study the T-Date sector getting even more higher pay than those in university graduate. If you, you become the technicians, you get more pay now. So what they do? But they choose the cultural aspiration which we are not talking about. Whether you access to higher education, are you willing to work in those dirty plans that we call it 3D, danger, dirty, and dangerous, and all this stuff? Or we would like to sit in the aircon and, and have a class. Look at the Cambodian behavior of our young people. So we don't have just cultural issue. A recent study indicated that only 70% of the students want to enroll in Tibet. So 
we need to actually change the uh, cultural aspiration. Look at this one. In a new modern Cambodian, which is relied on the service and urbanized society, university college is seen as the key to success. But sector is too small to absorb a growing number of students. This is the result. Currently, they are doing like this. Is there any problem? No. There is a social cost, but not the individual cost. Who can access to higher education? It's not from the bottom 20% who. It's only from the rich who can afford, right? So they don't care. If they don't get a job, they can stay here and looking for a job. So there's no individual cost, but whether there are social costs, which we do not underline. So this one need to be uh, uh, talking about. Look at this one, it's very interesting. Despite our concentration on the provinces now, if you see, 19 provinces have all the university. Even the deconcentration away from the urban access is not. Look at the urban and, and the rural access. We still have very low enrollment from the uh, provinces. The poorest one is very low, 0.3 compared to almost more than 70% of the rich 20 of uh, So what does that mean? I'm going to. Look at this. A choice study is like this. We can see that in feeling of this, it's not about choice study, more supply side, but we need to understand what the demand side is. And look at, for example, STEM education as an example. If you look at that one, we can see this one. A lack of candidate to fill in this current one. Why? The rich people don't study STEM education. They study English, IT, business, and all this stuff. And only the poor students study STEM. If you look at uh, the study by by, by, by Chia, the poor students study STEM. And when we promote STEM, look at the number of the poor people that I mentioned earlier. It's only 0.3%. So a matter is not supply side. It demands time. There's a lack of candidate. Because why? Only the poor people study STEM, not the rich guy. So are we able to talk about that? No, so far. There's no holistic scholarship for the poor on that one. And this intensified by the migration currently. All the poor are migrated out. So the problem do not have even students studying STEM. No matter you build university, there's no people going to do STEM. So this is how we're going to underline. Uh, which one is hurt and which one is not. So if you heard from the donor side, invest on STEM, please borrow my money. And then building infrastructure at university, right? In order to promote STEM. Donor, no matter it is, I don't care. You borrow my money, you turn my money. I don't care how you want to use it. If you borrow that, I do not even care about the demand side. Right? So this is the issue of current approach to the report. I'm not talking about uh, or, or other foreign is not good. I'm talking about why you tell we go which voice is her, what kind of donor is it, whether all the foreigners is, is bad or Cambodian, I don't think so. Otherwise, we're not going to be for this year, right? In open the market, I'm not going to skip this very little, but the problem is that you even don't care what the Cambodian market is perfect or not. Getting a job doesn't depend on your qualification in Cambodian context, it depends on who you know. How much money you to pay? So do not even talk about the input of the market and you just promote in this student, but I don't think that. And I'm going to talk in play game later on how it impacts the whole sector. So this is what I would like to actually see. Uh, I'm, I'm putting this uh, for you. And especially in the government sector, we are predominantly by the male hegemonial reason. We are networking is important to get a job, right? So no matter how qualified you are. And this is important that we, if you don't talk about the incorporate market and you talk about the supply side, I don't think we solve the problem. So, yeah. 
deciding what to study at curriculum education in order not only in their interest and knowledge, but also those are the parents in order who actually seem to kill a job. The studies are this one uh, by the children. Young people place the trust in the family or sex in the community and stream or social network in deciding what to study. Otherwise, you're not getting a job. You want to speak that a bit? Okay. An important one is this one. A lot of other students and major based on the social appeal, such as a well paid job in the NGO, international organizations, and banking or wholesale, but not the other. And if they don't have a job, they just stay in the company and get a job. Do it and look at the rural area today. There's no even job people. The university stay there. side. You call for STEM, 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 but look at the engineer pay how much you pay into the bank. In other country, if you be a plumber, you want richer than a professor, richer than anything. But in Cambodia, the context is not. Look at the engineer who are going to do all the construction. It's paid lower than the international aid organization, especially from the world bank, maybe you can start with the world Comparing to the local engine. So you don't talk about the enumeration. So you don't talk about the imperfect level mapping. So you're talking about the supply side of it. So if you have sort of problem, I think uh, it's my not. And this is one I would like to actually emphasize how that impact on the level mind. When you go into the job, Suicide, also we have to go to the world and stop. This is happening. Those who work in the rubber research institute in the government that who are going to support the farmer, going to the rubber uh, plantation, don't even know what the rubber tree is. So this is the story of the recent report. The study we have one time the staff member from the rubber research institute was sent out to provide technical assistance to the plantation. When going through the rubber planting area, you notice the rubber tree, not knowing what they were asking the rest of the people in the car. What are those three? And this is because the imperfect, imperfect the level mind. Then get into the job without expertise. And if you know it all the list, like uh, food engine, uh, food or processing, all the list, stand up, safety nets, look at all of this one, when we sexual that. You can see there is, there is another study. So what? Uh, we know that the future of today is to be more increasingly interconnected and interdependent mode. And that is why we, in, we, we are going to all of this stuff currently. And that is why, again, I would like to emphasize this one. We are now current this one. And because we look at the future as interconnected and interrelated, that is why we do all the internationalization. But so we ask it, what does employability, regionalization, and globalization that our education system is aiming at mean for Cambodia? Did we ask it at all whether that internationalization benefit Cambodia or not? Do we ask him that question? Probably not. And then this is one of the quotes that I uh, did it and we feel out. We are more at I'm the same with as a team of this one because I went to Africa for my funeral and I take this and cover it into our research here. Is this one. In our single minded pursuit to create a center of learning and research of international standing, we have an acute research and educator who may need a capacity to work in the surrounding community, but who move to any institution in any industrial country which is an independent community around the globe with the compared to this. Talking English. Okay, you have mastered English, but where do you going to work? Whether you work with the 70% of the people in the park in the rural area, or be working for the four small private sector in the urban and going out for the region. So where are you working? Look at all the current current situation that we have. Suppose that we have a very good scientist in terms of chemistry or bio or whatever, do we have a sector to absorb them? 
I quite a lot of, of, of my friends who are actually doing a PhD and postdoc around the globe, but have no lending on the ground, but there's no sector of self employment. So they just end up doing postdoc and the two was in country. What do you mean by In our field to contextualize the standard is excellent to lead our own people, to run the process and agenda of learning and research in our foundation, we then have to create a scholar or researcher or whatever it is with legal statement for the very process of legal development that we want to have. So that means if I mean the internationalization without contextualizing, are we producing the people who was able to work with the surrounding community? And this is what I'm afraid of. I'm asking the question of discourse analysis, of where those graduates are looking for. If you go in by John, the economic growth and development, not only me asking this question, a lot of people before me even asking the question a long time ago, 10 years ago, like uh, uh, W.G. Lee, who is now director of OGPP, asking the same question. Some professions which are needed for social and national development are neglected in order to serve what are often sought by the global market force. Actually, we asked it 10 years ago about where we solve this problem, where the best white is hurting the policy in the cave. It's not. Sister Lee, that's mentioned here, this is a foreigner, she only asking the question recently that Cambodian respond to the public private good question seems to fall in the private good arena. The view by the government that higher education is a private good and does not find the responsibility for the government seem to be unstated by the real, if you look at all the policies. It's all favor on the private goods, not favor on the public. Okay. And this one, when we take all the money as the indicator of success, we never talk about anything else. Like, strike off for survival, and under more, 70% of the population is strike off for survival, is there not? Now recently, like for example, water crisis, recently. And they didn't know that, but we can manage it so long time ago. But we don't have even people to do it. Right? Here, uh, uh, water irrigation courses is not happening to both. There's no more courses, degree of that. And water declared to be a agriculture society or economy. So all of this is like this. So as a major citizen and a public educator, we would like to uh, what a part of this current set of how you have part on the whole society. And for me, taking advantage to go further, not only this asking, is there any alternative vision for Cambodian and Cambodian higher education? This is what we call it where to internet. So I try to answer first uh, the second question. Look at all of these indicators first. The current approach to higher education from our analysis is that we focus again and again on the employability scale respond to the private sector, and there's nothing to prepare students for the nation really. There's no course of citizenship and civic engagement. Nothing at all. We're talking about how to respond to the private sector. There's no courses that deal with social justice. What I mean, a fair sale of benefit and fair sale of burden. Better we produce better than that, the, the indicator on that one. Public good like food safety, security, road safety. Do we care about all of this? We already hear that they don't every day die of traffic accident. They will die of food, but who care about this? Better they better produce people to respond. Again, underlining the cause is that we do some reform, focus on form, but not the content. So we change form here and there. But changing substantially the way we do it, then no. So in my old version of using Khmer, I just said, we will come back to Rome, but now we are doing Khmer from the side. So Rome will be when we have changed that job, or you will move the guy to the other side. But that's what the Khmer is doing. 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 We just need to wait here. So again, there's no focus on content or change. Look at this one. Uh, as an indicator. Huh? In Cambodia, if you have money, you will fly to, to outside for a meaningful check. But if you poor, you stay like this. In Cambodia, uh, so we did, as I said in Cambodia, that means climb the international pool, mean a month at time. Uh, 
แล้วทุกคนยืนยันที่จะเป็นหน้าเพราะว่าหลายทางมันเลยเท่าไหร่But what interesting I see this guy play as a police role. We do traffic. We say all the stuff was that, but you have this guy who was coming when the pass by take a picture. He grow for so. So here's the front look. So we see all this picture. So I'm going to do all of this uh, very briefly. Look at central market before and after. We don't care for public goods and public safety, or even aesthetic of society. We don't care about those, but we care about those. You know how, how, how much it is one clock in that one, right? One store in that one, expensive. So you just want to clear it up for the tree and go to the store, get in, so that you can sell money. Look at all the lifestyle now. Even some religion. All we would like to see these old people, this is a picture I take from the Netherlands, when they all enjoy life like this, you know that the old Cambodian have been doing like this. You know that how many are starting to struggle when they get old, right? And even we are running on all the old buildings, they just seem to be very big. Probably just because of the land properties, it's cutting up everything, so to do it where are the master plan for the national development as a whole. So I might not be here. So just a call for the end of my slide is that it's only art that provide meaningful and not silent technologies. When we did an art, we should call for an education for a meaning of the life rather than education for economy. And for me, my conclusion is that if I call it again a call to the meaning of life, Japan must have had a high rate of committing suicide. Japan is a rich country, but a lot higher than so Economy game last what we call the meaning of life. Korean just set up a school for them. Cambodian, I got a message like, yesterday when talking to someone. We have 700 people committing suicide every day. Oh no, so, uh, every year annually. Sorry, 700 people annually committing suicide. If we go to get the economic growth, whether we go follow the same trend of those people, or we go to care about the education for life, or meaning of life. What does it mean? So this is my core point is that we have an education have a three stage in summer for the nation building, for social justice, and for the meaning of life, which is for individual freedom. So, such I think I'm, 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 I'm ending with the one that's like here. So, to really make sense that we need a translator in Cambodian policies making contact, and we need to do this one and not depend on the outsider to form our own policy uh, or, or whatever it is. So probably we need someone who can domesticate the development agenda. We need someone who are in education specialists who care not only about economic growth and development, but also care about nation building, social justice, public goods, and finally the quality of life. Recently, Japan does not follow the global trend of the UN, which is education for sustainable development. Japan now reform education for quality of life. And then most of the Scandinavian countries aiming to do that, uh, education for quality of life. And we are reaching that, or whether we should reach it for the activities, it is even better than so I don't know. So this is my job.
Maybe yeah. just 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 for a matter of uh, knowing each other, getting to know each other more. Maybe you can introduce yeah. yourself. Short one and then question. Hi everyone. So my name is Minin from H2X Law. I work a lot in the legal field, but I also do a lot in, also in the development and uh, governance related issue, distribution by act. I know the M4 and we discuss. Uh, at first, I must say that the research is quite comprehensive. Although the two arguments of the quality of life of science and technology is still there, um, I'm not quite sure what you would like to suggest. Uh, what should Cambodia take? You should say whether we have a good discussion and good knowledge of STEM, whether STEM will help Cambodia moving forward, whether STEM will draw Cambodia backward because of the loose of focus on quality of life. But how can you produce quality of life when you don't have the skill? First, I must say, a country that based on just social philosophy and uh, agri culture base will not grow globally. Only the country that has science and technological knowledge and capacity will lead. And you can see they develop all that they produce the wealth. Agriculture is very much fluctuating, depends on technologies and all of that. So if we don't have this knowledge, then we don't have money, we don't have food, people will fight, people will see all other people around the world get rich and all that, they want to fight, keep moving and all that. So it's still a big question of just balancing. For me, maybe quality of life, nation building is all that to be at the foundation. The focus should be at the foundation level. Basic education, something like that, teach people how to behave, to love, to interact, to uh, uh, you know, know the meaningful of life, environment, all that. But beyond the, ba the basic education, I would say we should focus on the achievement and then higher education mostly for academic, for research, for a higher uh, end skill. But we need to do that with Cambodia don't have that skill. But of course we have to balance. And Cambodia now has to face the two challenges, what Tibet and the higher education. Because it's still uh, because of this divide, the two uh, ministry and all that. Claiming higher education as Tibet, Tibet's higher education is still a mix. How would you direct this? I think what you say also, uh, the content is very important. Cambodia is stand up. We talk about STEM, but we need to understand what is what are STEM. What standard do we produce? I used to have Ministry of Education, I used to have with the Ministry of uh, Vocational Training. When we when we talking about the standard, we're talking about status. Because they adopt the qualification standard, it means to give a status, who you are, but not to look at what can you do in order to say you have this skill. I agree with that. But it's not just about the policy, it's about developing their standard. So what the Ministry of Education can do as the leader of the National Council for Education, being responsible for developing education standard, but somehow cannot be or how I just don't know, you know, it's just uh, something, but I agree that standard is very important. We have to link it with the, in the industrial standard, more beyond that industrial, all the standard. We have the national standard institute, but they don't develop really much standard. We're talking about construction standards, we're talking about other standards, but those standards have not even been adopted. And how can you fix them when you don't have standards? It's this kind of thing. But yeah, we have to think quickly. We have standards in place, local, national, whatever standards, teach the people how to do those. And then the basic education should focus on what we should call building the social justice of. Uh, engagement, um, kind of community networking, whatever like that, literature, reading at yeah, the basic level. So for me, it's nothing wrong to focus on STEM, but we have to know what is STEM and how we have to select because there are many types of STEM. Whether we should do science, we do technology, we should do engineering, we should math, uh, what are these? In fact, yesterday there was a good discussion, or another, not a great discussion, but one leading professor, he said, maybe we should talk not just STEM, but STEAM. 
And now here I see that we say STEM and, and agriculture. So maybe I would say STEM, uh, STEM, uh, rather than STEM. Then so I'll put everything back to the board that everything is important. From the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, agriculture, and arts. The other A is art, so they call STEM, rather STEM. And you have also STEM, so I must say maybe STEM, uh, somehow like that. Thanks, just, just to share my uh, observation. Uh, sorry from Minji University, uh, very far from here. Um, it's a very interesting uh, presentation that if you remind me that thinking about two groups of people, two groups of farmers, one is organic farmers and one is chemical farmers. Finally, we found that we have to figure out what is the common standard that we going to produce food for. So now we have seem to be a challenge uh, between making good people and smart people. Do we really focus on STEM or STEM or STEM or STEM? It seems to be that we really focus on how to produce smart people in society. But at the same time, how we balance these smart people to be more uh, good people. It seems to be like, because I'm working basically on agriculture, so good people, good farmers, people who use organic product. But if you really respond to the market, if you want to respond to the market, so we have to go to the chemical agriculture. Education is not it's not seem different from this. It's not, it's not a question about this. How we balance this, like you said. How we make good and smart people at the same time. Big question for higher education in Cambodia today. Development. Right. Maybe uh, in the 80s, uh, 
we did a different type of bridging exit. And then throughout the 90s, uh, where uh, we have mutations and a lot of influence of uh, foreign aid yeah, consultants and uh, um, advisors came, we did, did different types of bridge aid. Now, we have just in turn, um, lower mid American country that may uh, indicate different needs of uh, regimes, whether they are from uh, Tibet or high education institution. I don't know, as I said, uh, this debate is going on. The problem how they go to take the listening money. In this final slide, is you know, including the remark is that what the judge asked was what is it to, to make sense of what has happened in the last 20 years or so is to translate as you mentioned earlier, STEM. Okay. But what kind of STEM do we need? When we're talking about nurse, for example, we need a nurse to take care of old people or we take a assistant medical nurse as injection all this stuff. Are we going to analyze it very detail of what the body need? is at the moment is not. If you look at all those who can claim to know what kind of the people do we need in STEM. No, everyone talk about the STEM, right? But to what level we can tailor our program to meet the nation need. And that is why in here I try to ask you, we need translator, not literally, but this one, employability skill. Whether we are able to domesticate in that employability skill in the local context. And in Cambodia, as I mentioned earlier, we see is the regional and the global trend. And if you talk in hybrid education in particular, everyone are afraid of three, three flow of skill level when we enter into ASEAN communities. And then what other skills are being produced? We the aim at at producing the skill that can migrate across Asia. But how about